I'm in a bad mood because they are stealing your data, they are stealing my data and I'm sick and tired of it. And today I'm talking about the file sharing services. They changed the user agreements and now the files that we are sharing in good faith with our colleagues, friends, family, bosses, um, they're taking these files that they don't own and they're using it to train their AI models and God knows what. Terrible. But now I'm in a good mood because uh, Microstick actually has a solution for this. A solution that respects your privacy and allows you to use the tools that you already have. So what do you need? You need any Microstick uh, device with an ARM CPU and some storage capabilities. Usually USB, like in my case, I'm uh, using an RB5009. I plugged in an old uh, terabyte USB drive. It has all my files there. And uh, of course we have some CCRs with M2 SSDs. We have the Rolls data server with NVMEs. Overkill for this, but you can use it. And then you take your favorite phone, Android, uh, Apple, whatever and you download the back to home app and that's it. Tap the folder icon and here I see the files that my router has access to. Here are the folders, here, here are the files. Then you can manage share link and from here that's it. You just send the link to whoever and here's the cool part. You can share files, you can share folders or you can just uh, tap here and they can also upload files, so it goes both ways, really handy. Of course, this is not just about sharing that fi the files that you already have there. We've all been in a situation where you have a new file on your phone, maybe you filmed a 4K video, uh, maybe you made a, 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 an important document and now you're thinking, hmm, how do I share it? I've seen people using uh, Gmail for this. Mm -hmm. I've seen people using messengers for this, but here's the real solution. You take the back to home app, you take this file, whatever, is it large, is it small, doesn't matter. You send it to your router storage through the back to home. And then again, you create a link that you can share with anyone. And uh, yeah, without compromising the privacy. So that is pretty cool. And what's even cooler, you don't need a public IP. LTE works, 5G works, mobile internet, we all have some remote work these days, right? We travel, so you don't need a public IP, that's pretty cool. And um, basically, Back to Home is a secure, simple, private VPN tunnel that you don't have to pay for. And the security comes from the fact that it is based on WireGuard, which is the most simple and secure a modern way to establish such connections. So that's pretty nice. But um, I am obsessing about file sharing. Uh, absolutely not the only benefit to this, because when you connect back to home, you are literally browsing the web from your home. Endless possibilities. Just to name some. For example, you have Pi-hole ad blocker on your router add free experience on your phone, anywhere in the world, just connect back to home. Then you can avoid some dodgy hotel Wi-Fi tracking weird stuff. Again, browse through your home. Basically, with back to home, you are taking all your data, all your control back to home because it is your life. It is your data. Don't share it with those weird, greedy corporations. Don't share it. Share it. <laughs> but on your own terms, not on theirs. They keep changing the user agreements. Mm -mm. Back to home. Back to you.